Well, there is a very big fight for a player that I really believe he's a gem of a talent and it's his time to move away from Crystal Palace to another team because his levels are really beyond beyond Crystal Palace. Welcome to the Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan Tevi. This is the Transfer News Show. And here we come in peace to bring you the latest news and information as far as your transfers are really concerned. Ateta and Pep are fighting for a Belechi as a signature, guys. It's really heating up and it's coming in from credible sources that you guys are going to go out and really enjoy. Smash the like button close to 400 times. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily. Now, after all that has gone ahead to being rumored around town, Arsenal are not yet out of the transfer window and they're trail pushing. And to show to it that Eze is one of those players that might leave the Crystal Palace side. Crystal Palace is looking for a replacement for Ebelechi Eze. And guess who they are looking at? It is Edin Hazard. And we are going to talk about the first case of Hurricane down at Bayern Munich, where it's going to hit to impress the people down there in plenty. <laughs> that is it. So we thank God for the gift of life and we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, today is a Friday, Juma Karim. And we thank Allah for the protection and for everything that's going to aid to put up <coughs> for us that is going to aid to see us thrive to the levels we are right now. Now, London Highbury was the first to break this story about a Belichi Ezi. Arsenal inquired about the possibility of signing a Belichi Ezi Crystal Palace again selling the player this summer, but a big money offer may convince them to sell before the last day of the transfer window. Eze would like to join a big team and loves the idea of moving to Arsenal. So a Belichi Eze likes the idea of moving to Arsenal and he obviously proved to Mikel Ateta that he's really a very good talented player and I think this is what is going to hate to boost Ateta's interest into this player because you remember when they are playing against Crystal Palace there is a moment that I think Arsenal were just served by the referee not to point at the spot because Ebelechi Eze first went past um he first went past Ben White after going past Ben White then it looks like Thomas Party clipped him a little bit right and he never even poked the ball with his front foot and Ebedechi Eze went down but if I totally watch that game you really know the skill that Ebedechi Eze used to go past to Arsenal players in a flash so to me Ebedechi Eze is a very good player <coughs> and for any team that is really needing him is going to get good 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 talent well, Ebedechi Eze we look at him he's 25 years of age right and he has 74 kilograms he has a height of 1.78 he's an english and nigerian he has african ethnicity but he's an english player that is it plays for the english national team and last season he went ahead to obviously play 38 games 10 goals with four assists meaning that if has gone ahead to put up such starts at crystal palace what is he gonna be like if at all he comes in at a club like Arsenal <laughs> there for you? And the beauty of it is that he was not injured throughout this season. He played the entire 38 games of the season. That is a Belechi easy for you. So Crystal Palace might be really willing to offer this player <laughs> and obviously sell him if at all some big money comes in through. And I think it can be around 60 or 70 million pounds for Belechi Ezi. And the good thing is that he has reached his prime. He has reached his prime and Ateta is really inquiring about the player and his availability. But as Ateta <coughs> is coming into the player, there is a very huge story coming in from Ninza Kinsella and Dom Smith, football reporter for the Evening Standard of for the Evening Standard. Both work for the Evening Standard, but <coughs> Ninza Kinsella is really the most credible of the two. Now, he's telling us that Man City are considering making an official bid for Eberechi Eze. Crystal Palace are expected to tell any club to inquire about Eberechi Eze's availability that 70 million pounds is the lowest they would consider selling for him. That's what London Highbury told you about that if it's not big money, they are not willing to cash in for the player, meaning that Ebelechi Eze is wanted by two teams, Arsenal and Man City. Now, 
This is not the first time Arsenal and Man City are tussling it out for the player. <coughs> the recent battle was in between Arsenal and Man City on Declan Rice. Arsenal first made a bid of 75 plus 15 million pounds. It was rejected. Then they made a second one of 85. Mm, they made another one of 80, 80 plus 15 million pounds. It was rejected and that tempted Man City to go in with a bid of 90 million pounds and Arsenal went mad and bought Declan Rice for 105 million pounds. So this summer, who won the first battle? <coughs> it was Arsenal because Declan Rice is now an Arsenal player. Not so. He won the battle and he's now an Arsenal player. Now, there is another battle that is going to hate to be really re that is going to, that is going to hate to be kindled in between Ateta and Pep Guardiola, and they want a Belechi Eze. Now, let's first talk about a Belechi Eze at Arsenal. When I look at Arsenal and a Belechi Eze, I know why Ateta wants him. Ateta got to know that the reason as to why they lost the trophy to Man City was lack of physical specimens into that midfield that could obviously win the midfield battle. We know that Arsenal controlled very many games, but when it came to where physicality was really required or required, Arsenal was really struggling. When you look at the game of Everton, that midfield of Dokore, uh, Onhana, and Gueye, Edrisa Gueye, was really strong and overpowered <laughs> the midfield <coughs> of Arsenal. Then after that game, the game of Brentford, you saw that midfield battle that had, is it Tom's guard, um, Janssen, you know, and other midfielders in the, in the physical battle was lost to Arsenal, and Arsenal drew that game of football. When you look at the game of Man City, obviously the physicality was really low for Arsenal, a West Ham drawing 2-2. Two -two. So the games that saw Arsenal lose the trophy, Arsenal never lost them that they never really scored goals. The physical battle failed Arsenal to win those games. That's why you see it that each and every player Ateta is pointing on is a physical player. Look at Kai Havertz. He's a physical player, you know, with talent. Declan Rice, physical player with talent. And Julian Timba, physical player with talent. Look at Eberechi Ez. He's a physical player with talent. And Arsenal really looking up for him and they're waiting to see how this is going to happen because they might be needing another physical space with that midfield. And that shows you that maybe Ateta is going to hate to know that maybe Fabio Vieira is not going to play some big part in the Arsenal season and needs a loan in the Premier League to obviously get to adapt to the league and maybe bring him later. And I think Arsenal can use those players like Sambi, Albert, Lokonga, Fabio Vieira <laughs> to obviously include them in this deal and obviously see how they can see the business happening right now. But for Man City, I think... If you talk about the two teams, which team needs a Belechi Eze more, I think it's Man City. With the likes of Kevin De Bruyne injured and the departure of Ika Gundogan, I think a Belechi Eze comes in through to fit in like a glove into that position of Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> that is it. Because when Kevin De Bruyne is away, you need a player like a Belechi Eze. His skill set is really great. He has an eye for goal. And he has that line-breaking pass on him. That last pass to release Erin Haaland, a Berechi Eze has it. He has the physical attributes. That means if you're having a midfield three of Rodri, right, uh, Kovacic and a Berechi Eze, obviously you'll win very many midfield battles. Because when you're not having Kevin De Bruyne, the creativity really decreases. And a Berechi Eze comes in with that because he is a very good central attacking midfielder. And I'm not sure to say that all these teams are interested in him because every elite team, Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea, are all looking at this player. And, it, it, and if at all it wasn't for the shortage of the money, they would have gone ahead to obviously go in and obviously get in a Berechi Eze. But a Berechi Eze to me, he's a jam of a talent in the career, in the career where he deserves to be playing at and is really showing loads of potential. Even <coughs> Ekrem Kona came out and told us that Man City continued to be linked with Wolverhampton 24-year-old Portuguese midfielder Matthias Nunes and Crystal Palace's 25-year-old England midfielder Ebelechi Eze. But for my case, if I told a Man City, I would have gone in for Ebelechi Eze because 
Matthew Nunes is good, but I think <clears throat> he offers a lot as a CDM and a box-to-box -box midfielder. And in those, you're having Rodri, you're having uh, uh, Calvin Phillips, you're having Kovacic into those. But you ask yourself, do you have another central attacking midfielder who leads the creative area? That is a very, 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 very huge question that needs <laughs> to be really answered wisely. And that obviously puts Mikel Ateta on the spot, on, sorry, Pep Guardiola on the spot on why he's going in for Matthias Nunes. And their first bid for Matthias, Nunes, for Matthias Nunes has been rejected by Wolverhampton Wanderers. Then Fabricio threw in this, that <coughs> Man City have a feeling that Crystal Palace won't want to sell a British AZ unless a crazy bid comes in through and that crazy bid is supposed to be 70 million pounds and i think if ateta really wants to elevate his team to the next level i think it's better to get in a belich AZ. matthias nunes is good but a belich AZ will elevate his team to the next level one will say but he needs matthias nunes because calvin phillips is not working out well but kovacic can also play as a cdm he can he can play as a cdm kovacic into that team so to my own understanding i really i really understand that it's really going to be so much important for <coughs> for a belechi for man city to go in for belechi is other than matthias nunes but we've been told by samili i think this one is a close horse coming in from man city he's um, a man city correspondent for the athletic that man city will not sign both matthias nunes or a belechi or the only one of them meaning that at pep guardiola is weighing is weighing them on scale and really trying to find who is the beta player of the two but to me it should be a belichi az at 70 million pounds if at all it's available you go in for him and they couldn't sign the two because of the financial fair play fair play rules that is it the ffp that is it that policy just stops them from signing these players because they've only they've spent 30 on kovacic 80 on 80 on um, Vadio. That means they've so far spent close to 111 million pounds on those. Now, if they bring, they've brought in Doku for like 50 million pounds, that is 160, and they can only stretch, I think, 70 more on one more player to make it close to 240 million pounds. But Pep Guardiola is really in for it. But <clears throat> what shows you that Crystal Palace is willing to sell is this. They've already gone ahead to identify a replacement for the player that is a Belechi Eze. And we've been told by Steve K that Chelsea, sorry, Crystal Palace are planning to gamble on Belgian free agent Edin Hazard by handing the ex Chelsea and Real Madrid attacker a one year contract as sale has back despite his injury problems. Meaning that Crystal Palace feel like they don't want to miss out on the opportunity. They want to seize this moment and obviously get in the money. And for 70 million pounds, <clears throat> if you're Crystal Palace, and it's you who obviously got this bad ability as from Blackburn, there are very many players you can obviously sign, like you signed Olise, right? So I think it's better for them to find out a solution, sorry, a replacement for ability as that is far better than Edin Hazard. Because Edin Hazard is a very good player. I know he can thrive at Crystal Palace, but he doesn't have that drive, you know? He needs that manager that's going to give him a reason to really put his body on the line that is it because it looks like he has even won a hate to stand money coming in from saudi arabia because he believes he wants to play top football again and if it really comes in the premier league at crystal palace that will be a very good move for Eden hazard but for my case i think you get him on a free sell a bereche easy to either arsenal or man city for 70 million pounds do you know what that means it means you should get another player that can obviously develop in the shoes of Eden Hazard so to it that they can get the next ability as so let's wait and see how that pans out but it shows you that they are willing to sell provided a crazy fee is tabled on the table lastly Harry Kane signed for Bayern as so far gonna hate to play three games and I think I was gonna hit score one goal and put up one assist that is Harry Kane for you <coughs> and We've been told by the people that Kenny's first days at Bayern Munich have been impressive, not only footballing-wise, but also from a human point of view. 
he tried to get as close to the fan to the fans as possible and fulfilled all autograph and selfie requests before his first training session hmm, he greeted every single steward with a handshake that is coming in from that is coming in from the bill now it shows you it shows you it shows you how good he is and the purpose of signing a captain right the beauty of how good he is and the purpose of signing a captain of a club that is it so if you get in a captain of a club like um harry kane he knows the protocol of obviously he to really impress and these are leaders that have gone ahead to re execute it in England at the English national team and he comes in through to obviously lead here by example that is Harry Kane for you so for me I'm happy for him that at least for the very first time in his football career he wants to win a trophy and I think he's going to win one with Bayern Munich and if at all they lift the Champions League that will be the best of all so that is hurricane for you and his career at Bayern munich starting it off on the right notes and wish him the best of luck and i call for your reactions into the ateta and pep Guardiola fighting for a belechi as his signature in the comment section below what do you make about edin hazard being tipped to be the replacement of the player of crystal palace a belechi Eze. and lastly hurricanes first impressions at Bayern Munich what do you make about them I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ may the living to God bless you abundantly my most viewers and subscribers Barak Laufi Kuman Juma Karim see you later in the next three or four hours from now I'm out bye bye